Welcome to a brief tutorial on how to set up a gala on the R Sports system. Because we are using test data at the moment, we're going to go to the staging server. To begin, we're going to go to competitions. And here we're going to create a new competition, which we will call Gala Night 2019. It'll be kickboxing, it'll be a tournament, and we'll call this the February special. So we have to set a starting date and a finishing date. Let's say that our event is taking place on Sunday. And now we have to decide what kind of competition do we want. Do we want a competition where the users, the participants are registering themselves? Do we want a competition where delegations are being used to register people into the competition? Now, if we want delegations, we need to activate bulk division management and then use delegation teams. And here we can write for the delegations, whether it be national federations or whether it be clubs. This is where we can set the term of what is a delegation. Let's say for this event that the athletes are registering themselves. So in this screen, we can decide to show it in the world calendar and to add a logo, a feature image, and also a description for the tournament, as well as where the event will actually take place. Now, once we've saved the settings for the actual event, we need to add a division. Since a gala night is going to comprise of various fights, I recommend that you use only one division. And this one division allows all the athletes to register into one place and you to just create the bouts according to your schedule and according to your lineup. So from here, we're going to go add division. We're going to add a new adult division. And this division we will call Feb Gala Night. The gender we won't set in case it's men and women. We can set all of the restrictions as well as all the preferences here. However, for a gala night, I would leave it directly as it comes standard. Regarding the number of judges, you can update this to be three or five. Regarding the type of competition, we are trying to do round robin. Round robin means that we do not progress. It's not a bracket and it's not elimination. And this allows us to create our bouts in the sequential order we would like. We can add here regarding the points and the ranking, some type of parameters. And after that, we have to select which membership we are going to enforce. In this case, will be WKA. If we allow the children to participate with adults or not. And finally, if we want this form to be copied by other organizations. The next step is to set up the information which you are requesting when the athlete is signing up. So here you can publish the participant list. You can add a fee if you'd like to charge them. And the most important is on the registration form to ensure that you are asking all the questions that you want. This is a default question that comes with the system. However, you can customize here and you can add other default questions from the drop down. For example, if you'd like to know regarding their skill, their height and their weight and their fight record win loss draws simply click on the items you would like to add press update and the system will add them in their own section now let's say there's a question you want to ask which is not here inside this list you can click on other and drag in also headings for information text and images but questions so if i want to add here for skills for example a upload of their fight record or their medical exam i can just say medical certificate upload and from all the types of questions that we can ask this will be a file upload but let's say we were asking any other question yes no drop downs we we're able to select them there we're able to specify what kind of file formats we're willing to accept and we're able to make the questions required as well as add help text underneath the question and once a question is added and we save it it will then show up when you mouse over any question you're able as well to draw drag them around, you're able to delete them with double clicking the trash can. If for example, you don't want some of these questions and you're also able to make them required by clicking the asterisk, which will turn red when it's required. If you want to edit the question, simply click the pencil and it allows you to edit that question. 
when you're editing questions, please keep in mind that you can also save this question to your list. So if I save this to my database, then anytime I go to save questions, I can see the medical certificate upload, which I'm able to drag into any forms. Simply click back on preview form to ensure that your form is exactly how you want it. We can just simply click open registration. And when we go live, the system will open up an area where people can register for this championship. We can go to the event registration page to see what it looks like, where people can register. So I'm going to register for this tournament. I need to fill out the information which is required. It'll ask us to pay. And as soon as we are registered, we can see here that now I have my membership card to the WKA and I have my registration made to this event. A dashboard of your administration page, you're able to see in real time also that you have a tournament that's open for registration and that you have one athlete which is registered in the one division and there are two days left in case the athletes that are participating um, don't have the opportunity to register, I can click Manage Athletes. And here under Manage Athletes, I'm able to add existing members to my organization. So if I add, for example, Dave, and here's Christy, Now, let's say that you don't have an athlete here as your existing member. Well, all you need to do is just go to the members and you need to invite the people here by clicking invite member. And this will allow you to invite anyone by email address directly to your systems. Once I've added them or invited them, then I'm able to, in my competition, add them to the competition. As you can see, we have four athletes now that are registered for the event. And this latest one that I've added is also here. So we're able to add that too. So now we have five athletes. So once we have our athletes, we close registration. Whether those athletes have registered online themselves or we have invited them. And then we need to schedule the event. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a manual schedule And we're going to go to the games page and we're going to add bouts. So bout number one, we can write here. Let's say the bout number one is the world title for under 81 kilogram. We can add a second title. Uh, we're able to add starting time. We're able to add all the information regarding the event. And we're going to make Vlad fight Dave. And there's my bout. And in this fashion, I'm able to add the entire schedule. So next I'm going to put Kirsty against Stefan. Now I haven't added more titles to that. And I'm able to mix and match and I'm able to add as many bouts as I want. Automatically, we can publish once our schedule is ready. And the way we publish is we go back to our competition page and we can see that now we, since we have a schedule, this is going to say publish schedule. So I'm going to press publish schedule and now it's public. So on the public website, we're able to see now who is participating, but the most important thing is that we're able to see the schedule and we're able to see that this is a world event and we're able to see the time and the location that this will take place. So this will show us, the full schedule will show us our fight card.